believe me, those 11 yards he says were worth that much. marked the centennial year of college football. Texas and Arkansas were once again the two best teams in the Southwest Conference. Their December showdown in Fayetteville helped decide the national champion. With the help of Connie Alexander, let's relive that legendary 1969 season. <laughs> Opening the conference race, Texas Tech launches to Cotton Spire of Texas before a capacity crowd of 65,000 at Austin. Texas' first touchdown comes on this triple option pitch and some neat maneuvering by junior Billy Dale. Early in the second quarter, quarterback James Street hums one to Spire. Left halfback Jim Bertelson runs a counter play to make it 14 to nothing. Watch the right halfback, 212 pound flash Ted Coy, performs magic for 42 yards. Jim Bertelson blocking. Now the steers lead 21 to nothing. Then this dazzling punt return by Spire. Fifty-three yards before the saving tackle by Jess Richardson. Just before intermission, Joe Madelich is pressured by Bill Zappalak, and the misguided missile is skyjacked by Mike Campbell to give Texas a 28 to nothing halftime lead. Twin brother Tom Campbell gets his own interception now. Sophomore quarterback Charles Napper eludes Big Bill Atessas, but Campbell burgles the hurried pass. The moonlight stride of Paul Robichaux follows a Terry Collins block to Royal Soil, and Texas goes on to a 49-7 victory. The TCU Horned Frogs invade Razorback country. Arkansas's Cary Stockdale gets away a 70-yard career punt, out of bounds at the TCU 3. Texas Christian sophomore sensation Steve Judy wings one to Jerry Miller, who's collared after a 40-yard game. After a TCU field goal, the aroused Arkansans strike back as super cool Bill Montgomery lays one on Chuck Dykus. 78 yards, score 7-3. Bill McClard, who tied with Happy Feller for 10th in national kick scoring, powers a 38-yard three-pointer. After another frog field goal made it 10-6, conference rushing champion Bill Burnett got 22 of his season's 900 yards. The junior combination of Montgomery and Dykus produces another touchdown, and it's 17-6. Tight end Pat Morrison and fullback Bruce Maxwell provide key blocks, and Burnett's touchdown gives Arkansas a 24-6 win. Bill Beal's Baylor Bears entertain Arkansas on a warm October evening in Waco. Arkansas junior Bill Burnett shows the power and finesse that made him one of the nation's top runners. Burnett was also the conference scoring champion and ranked third in the nation. He puts the Porkers ahead 7-0. The Bruins strike back in the second stanza. Gordon Utgard, runner-up in national kickoff returns, finds moonlight for eight yards. Then he plunges into a sea of muscle to tie the game.
Bill Montgomery dials Dykus again for 48 yards to the Bear 2 to set up Burnett's second touchdown. From the Baylor 3, watch Burnett's sensational ability to find the end zone. Arkansas wins 21-7. Up next, the Aggies and Red Raiders play a close one in Lubbock. And later, Rice looks to knock off Texas Tech. I think what it is is that you don't know it until you have it. Because I heard that in the past. You always see these people being like, oh, well, she's not right for you. You'll know, you'll know. And I'm like, okay, yeah, well, you'll we know. know. <laughs> well, this yeah. is what they were talking about. When I first heard him on the phone, I thought he was really sexy. <laughs> I love this girl to death, you know, and Amory changed my life because I was going in a hundred different directions. It is easy to be with Lee. It's easy to love him. She is extremely happy, lighthearted, doesn't let things get to her, you know, and I learned from that, and I'm jealous of that, but she's bringing that into my life. I'm much more laid back and kind of go with the flow. Me, not so, so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amory allows me to be who I am. As long as I have her, that's it. <laughs> See how it feels to be matched based on compatibility. Log on and review your matches for free. eHarmony.com. <laughs> Give me a battery rocket squeeze. Extra oxidants. <laughs> Check that. I got a double orange swirl with a shot of ginkgo. Oh, yeah. Wish you could enjoy a real fruit smoothie without leaving your car? Well, now you can. Because I'm mixing real fruit with non-fat yogurt to make three new refreshing flavors. Strawberry banana, mango, and orange sunrise. Real fruit smoothies. Now a jack-in-the-box. Hey, what time does the game start? You can't always be smooth. But your beer should be. Keystone Light, always smooth, even when you're not. Catch the Cardinals and the Astros Saturday, presented by Keystone Light, only on FSN. You never know who's talking about your favorite teams on Rodeo Ford's DFW Sports Beat. That's right, throw it to Dirk in the blender. Let him do the rest. Monday and Thursday nights, watch Rodeo Ford's DFW Sports Beat on FSN Southwest. That same night at Lubbock, the Red Raiders and the Aggies battled, with Tech moving to a 3-0 halftime lead. In the third quarter, Tech calls on the size 6 shoe of Jerry Don Sanders for his second field goal and a 6-0 lead. The Aggies retaliate. Tailback Larry Steachen hips and rips for 10 yards. And then sophomore quarterback Rocky Self wheels 12 yards to score. But the cadets miss the point after, and the board reads 6-6. Six to six. Trailing 9-6 in the fourth fourth, the Raiders bounce back as Danny Hardaway tears off three yards. With a minute to play, Hardaway scores on his sixth consecutive stab at the Aggie defense. J.T. King's Raiders win 13-9. I still love the Southwest Conference. Uh, uh, why, it, why it changed and, and brought other teams in, I, I think the fact that maybe some of the conferences were having championship games and getting bigger and bigger, and, and maybe some of the schools, maybe uh, like Rice, that, that didn't quite compete with the Texas and the Arkansas consistently, even though they were in the Cotton Bowl a number of years. I, I think that's uh, what sort of let it phase away a little bit. The, my recollection, I can't remember anybody that just really wanted to get out of the Southwest Conference. I knew some that wanted to get in, but I, I didn't remember many wanting to get out. Against the Aggies, TCU's Marty Whalen finds a muscle gap for 12 yards. Steve Judy has another big passing day. His first completion is to Jerry Miller for 29 yards to the Aggie 10. Then with wedge blocking, Judy opens scoring on a quarterback sneak. 
Lindsay Cole's catch gives the Frogs a 13-aught lead at the break. A TCU field goal sends the Frogs into the concluding quarter with a 16-0 lead. Rocky Self pegs one to Mark Black, who makes the catch for 18 yards. From the purple 15, Self connects with Ross Brubacher on a flat pass, and it's 16-6. The Aggies need a two-point conversion. Self evades the hatless Bob Creech, but the Frogs protect their goal and TCU goes on to win 16 to six. As the season makes the turn into November, Rice invades Texas Tech. The Owls score first, as Staley Vincent zeroes in on Joe Henderson, 7-0. From Tech's 17 in the second quarter, sophomore Vincent sheds tacklers for the tally that projects Rice to a 14-0 lead. Fighting the clock and the flock, Joe Matelich burns one to David May on a curl route. He survives the meat grinder at the six. One second left in the half, Danny Hardaway reaches Ensville, and it's Rice 14, Tech 7. Natalich backspaces. 230-pound Charles Evans puts it in the bank for a 14-yard gain. Then Jimmy Bennett, grandson of Tech's first football captain, ties the score. The Raiders take the lead as Matalich guns a 14-yard shot to Johnny Odom, and Texas Tech goes on to a 24-14 victory. Coming up, SMU travels to College Station, and the 1969 Lone Star Showdown is a lopsided affair. Hey, Mike. How's it going? What's that? My new toys. And the sweet protection plan I bought for them. It's all clear. Uh, there's an easier way to protect your stuff? Call GEICO. They can help insure all your vehicles. GEICO Power Sports. Insurance for your car and the other stuff that moves you. Call GEICO. If you have Chase Checking, you now get an exclusive discount on a Chase Home Equity line of credit for any new additions. Introducing Chase Exclusives. Bigger discounts. Because getting more matters. Chase what matters. If you have Chase Checking, your debit card earns you free rewards points. Introducing Chase Exclusives. Free debit rewards. Because getting more matters. Chase what matters. The sun used to make our outdoor deck and patio space so hot and uncomfortable, we couldn't use it. But then we discovered the Sunsetter Retractable Awning. Our Sunsetter Retractable Awning opens and closes in just 60 seconds. It keeps our patio about 20 degrees cooler. It provides instant shade and instant protection from the sun's harmful rays. And our Sunsetter costs under $700. But now you can get your Sunsetter for as little as $398 when you call now to get this special $200 discount certificate and free awning idea kit. We love our Sunsetter retractable awning, and you're going to love yours too. Sunsetter awnings are assembled in America and guaranteed to last for years. So call now to get this free awning idea kit with DVD, plus your $200 Sunsetter discount certificate but this is a limited time offer call now call now to get your free awning idea kit with dvd and 200 dollars discount certificate call 800-557-0785 Stadium, the Owls kick off to Razorback Bill Burnett, who comes out of the shoot for another 100-yard-plus day. With Rice trailing 3-0 in the second period, Staley Vincent escapes a wave of Arkansas muscle, finds higher ground, and floats one to Mike Spruill for 34 yards. Four plays later, a Rice field goal ties the game at 3-all. 
Now watch the bottom of the screen for blocks by tight end Pat Morrison and fullback Bruce Maxwell. They provide an escape route for Bill Burnett, himself one of the most accomplished escape artists. At the Owl 19, Bill Montgomery launches another missile to Chuck Dykus. Burnett does his thing, and Arkansas leads 10-3 before a Rice field goal makes it 10-6. A picture book pass play, Montgomery takes seven steps back in the pocket, reads the coverage, and releases to All-American Dykus at the Rice 30. On the Owl 14, Bill gets key blocks from All-America center Rod Brand and from Maxwell, and has John Reese in the end zone for a 17-6 lead. Later in the third stanza, the handback trap to Russ Garber works for 18 yards. This touchdown by Bill Burnett, plus a later one by John Eichler, gave Frank Broyles Porkers a 30-6 victory over Rice. College Station, a crackback block by Barney Harris helps Rocky Self pick up a dozen yards against SMU. Ignoring SMU's 240-pound Bill Wright, Rocky pegs to Ross Brubacker for six points. Chuck Hickson pops Gordon Gilder, and Gordon's cool moves take him to the four. Gilder strains for the goal, but the ball is dislodged, and opportunistic Vicky Lesser recovers to even the game. But the Aggies are not to be denied on this day. Self finds Jimmy Adams on an out pattern to set up a touchdown. Tailback Larry Stegen flies to a 14-7 advantage. Barney Harris became the most prolific receiver in A&M history. This fourth quarter catch set up the clinching touchdown. Sophomore Steve Burke's 37-yard trek closed the scoring. Gene Stallings Aggies 20, SMU 10. Turkey day at Aggieland, Texas deception and blocking, plus the quickness of Jim Bertelson gives the Horns another early lead. Bertelson was third in conference rushing and second in league scoring in his yearling year. Steve Wooster, number 30, erupts for 21 yards. The national rushing champions work their inside belly play for 10 to A&M's 14. An All-American Wooster funnels through for a 13-0 lead. Using All-America left tackle Bobby Wunsch's block, Wooster shifts into reverse for the next touchdown. Tom Campbell intercepted six passes in 1969, returning this one 30 yards to A&M's four. The outside phase of Texas' famed three-way option provides the fifth touchdown. Bertelson scores. All-American Spire starts an option reverse, then throws the home run pass to Randy Peschel, who's destined to catch an even bigger bomb the following week. Mike De Niro, number 89, blocked a steer punt, and Jim Piper scored with it. Final, Texas 49, Texas A&M 12. return it's the game of the century texas and arkansas battle in the hills in front of president nixon houston's largest classic rock library enjoy yourself kiddo dean and raj in the morning classic rock all day houston's home for classic rock is 93.7 the arrow Get the ultimate toolbox, a Tough Shed Sundance Series building exclusively at the Home Depot. Legendary Tough Shed quality and the convenience of Home Depot. Call, click, or visit, and Tough Shed handles the rest. Installing your shed where you want so you can create the backyard of your dreams. Right now, get free paint on Sundance Series sheds 
plus six months, no payments, no interest financing with your Home Depot consumer credit card. The Tough Shed Sundance Series. Exclusively at the Home Depot. I really got sick and tired of every day when I met somebody. They would look at the top of my head, and then they'd look me in the face. I think my hair looks better now than it did when I was in my 20s. Hey, some people are beautiful, bald, but it wasn't for me. I feel great about myself now. I look the way I think I'm supposed to look. It was like a dream come true for me because I wanted my own hair back. The Bosley treatments absolutely exceeded my expectations, no question about it. This is all me, so I'm thrilled. I finally enjoy getting a haircut. Now that I see the results, I wish I would have done it four or five years sooner. I'm really excited about having uh, my hair back. When it comes to going bald, you now have a choice. To find out more about this clinically proven permanent hair loss solution from Bosley, call to receive this free guidebook, Medical Report, and DVD. This is the only permanent solution to hair loss. Choose to do something about your hair loss. Call 1-800-346-8718. That's 1-800-346-8718 or go online to bosley.com today. The Toyota Tundra, tough, powerful, legendary quality. Toyota's back for NASCAR 2008. Log on to MySouthwestRacing.com for everything NASCAR and for your chance to win a new 2008 Toyota Tundra. Toyota Tundra, the truck that's changing it all. Get ready for Rangers baseball on FSN Southways. There's a wide up any small chance to keep swinging in October is all Josh Hamilton and the Rangers need to keep their never-give-up attitude. And taking another series from Grady Sizemore and the Indians only adds fuel to the fire. Indians, Rangers, tonight on FSN Southwest. It's the 50th meeting of Baylor and Rice. Philip Wood locks a throwback pass to Kim Malone. Later, from midfield, Wood glides 48 yards. Then John Miller curbs it. Larry Caldwell slants in, and Bo Hagen's Owls take the lead. Baylor intercepts. Then David Stockwell recovers for Rice. Sophomore Mike Spruill gets the Owls' second counter. Baylor stays alive with the marksmanship of Steve Stewart to Ted Gillum for 14. And then a look in to Rollin Hunter for the payoff. Slot back Dale Bernauer gets in the scoring column, and later Spruill makes his third TD of the day as Rice triumphs 34 to 6. In the Ozarks, the battle of the century, undefeated number one and undefeated number two before President Nixon, national television, and worldwide radio via the Humble Network. A minute and a half into the spectacle, Bill Burnett gives Arkansas a 7-0 lead as the Porkers go for their 16th straight victory. After a third quarter fumble by Texas, Montgomery looks, but the Longhorns flush him from the nest. He gains 18 to the Texas 31. Touchdown coming up. Montgomery looks for Dykus. He's got it. And Arkansas is ahead 14 to nothing. Opening the fourth quarter. James Street is forced to run with blocks from Bobby Wunsch, Bobby Mitchell, All-American Bob McKay, and Cotton Spire. He waltzes 42 yards to score. Then Street goes for two on the counter option, and it's 14 to eight. 
Arkansas threatens as Montgomery aims for Chuck Dicus. But Danny Lester makes a big steal for Texas. Led on this play by All-American Cliff Powell, the Arkansas defense stiffens. Now, fourth and three at the Texas 43. Wooster drives, but no, Texas, incredibly, is throwing the bomb. 44 yards downfield, Randy Peschel has it at the Arkansas 13. I really thought that that was all or nothing, that, and that we needed something deep. We needed an off-the-wall call, and it was a one-receiver route to the tight end, Randy Peschel. And uh, he had told me at halftime, he said, Coach, when I go downfield on the option play, I can't block that halfback. He's supposed to go down uh, the way the offense is supposed to work, and the defensive guy covers him on the running play, and then he can, he can block him. Uh, but he said, I can't get to him. He's coming up too fast. And so if we ever need to throw, he said, I, I think I can get behind him. Then Ted Coy makes a great run to the Razorback two. The left side of the Texas line carves a hole. Jim Bertelson slithers in, and the score is tied 14 and 14. Happy Feller makes his point, and Texas leads 15 to 14. It's not over yet. Montgomery completes five quick passes, but suddenly Tom Campbell intercepts. The Arkansas dream is shattered, and Texas wins. But both teams and all of college football were honored as the President of the United States visited each dressing room. Great honor in the hundredth year of football. I also want to say that having seen this game, what convinced me that Texas deserves that is the fact that you want a tough one for a team to be behind 14 to nothing and then not to lose its cool and to go on to win. That proves you deserve to be number one and that's what you are. The 1970 Cotton Bowl, the glamour bowl of college football's centennial year. Texas, seeking its 500th victory and its second national championship under Darrell Royal, meets Notre Dame in the Irish first bowl appearance in 45 years. Leading 3-0 in the second quarter, Notre Dame's nifty quarterback, Joe Theismann, connects with Tom Gatewood on a 54-yard touchdown production. Notre Dame 10, Texas nothing. Texas mounts a 74-yard drive, with Bertelson sweeping up 17 yards. And crashing in for the Steers' first score, Irish 10, Horn 7. The hitting was ferocious. Here's a tackle by Notre Dame linebacker Bob Olson, voted defensive player of the game. Notre Dame led 10-7 at the half. Steve Wooster ran for 155 yards and was voted offensive player of the game. After a scoreless third period, Ted Coy packed the pigskin in and Texas went ahead 14 to 10. Midway in the fourth quarter, the Phantom Theismann, who completed 17 of 27 passes, unveiled a fantastic touchdown play. Jim Yoder's reception put the Irish ahead again, 17 to 14. Two minutes to go, Texas ball, fourth down. James Street, never beaten in 20 games as Texas starting quarterback, directs a do or die pass to Cotton Spire. With a minute to play, Billy Dale careens in to give Texas a 21 to 17 victory. It's 20th straight win and the national championship. The 1969 football season produced the Southwest Conference third national champion that decade, and nine players were voted All-Americans. The Longhorns' national title was their second under Hall of Fame coach Daryl Royal. For a copy of the 1969 Southwest Conference season, contact the Texas Sports Hall of Fame in Waco, Texas. Next week on the Best Damn Sports Show, period. Thursday, it's Best Damn's Top 50 Bizarre Plays. I do not believe you. Next week at 11.
The toughest cowboys from across the globe come together in Mesquite, where they'll search for pay dirt in their match with some of the top stock in Texas. The Mesquite Championship Rodeo, Sundays at 1230 on FSN Southwest.